Hi everyone, my name is Sienna and this is Sienna Reacts. So today we are back with another video. It is 16 things not to do in Germany. <laughs> um, I've never been to Germany, so I'm quite interested to uh, hear what they have to say. I feel like a lot of them will probably just be common sense, but the common sense isn't common for everyone. So <laughs> let's go ahead, let's get started. What's up everybody? We are Deanna and Phil. Deanna is from the United States okay. and I am from Germany. Cool. And in this video, we're going over 16 things <laughs> that you should not do in Germany. Okay. All right, so some of these things are a little more serious and some of them are gonna be pretty funny. So let's just get right into it. Okay. All right, number one, you should never recycle wrong or throw away your Pfand. Pfand! So Germany is a pretty- Oh my God. Every country has different, the US, there are recycling centers, but okay. Um, but, but recycling is different in every country. It's so, it's difficult sometimes. Pretty green country and people tend to take their recycling pretty serious. So if you're here, you should not just throw everything in one bucket, but separate it between plastic, metal, paper, rest, and all that good stuff. I don't even know how many there are. So fund is a deposit where you pay a little extra on bottles or cans, and you'll usually return them at a little machine in the supermarkets where you get a voucher and your money. This is what I used to do when I was living in California. Money back for doing a good thing. So never throw away your fun bottle. Pa fund. Number two, you should never drive on the left or the middle lane of the autobahn. There's actually a law in place okay. that requires you to drive on the right lane on the autobahn at all times, unless you're overtaking somebody. So if you're not planning to go super fast and overtake a lot of people, you're required to drive on the right lane. So don't drive in the middle or the left lane slowly and block traffic because people will get aggressive and honk. Number three, don't walk in the bicycle lanes. In Germany, there are a lot of different bicycle lanes in and out of the city, and especially in student towns, there'll be a lot of bikers. So don't walk in them. Walk in the pedestrian zones or a sidewalk, that's what they're for. Number four, do not address strangers using their first name. It is kind of funny, but in Germany, for the word you, if you address somebody, we have two versions. There is du and there is Z, and Z is a polite version. It also implies that Z, you're on a last name basis. So that is the polite version to use. And if you meet somebody for the first time, or especially an elder person, you use the polite form, you do not use their first name, you are on a last name basis and use the Z. Oh bro, okay, so I've, I've met Germans before, but I'm American, so I guess they didn't say anything. <laughs> but I definitely, definitely was calling Tanya Tanya and I do not remember her last name. <laughs> Z instead of the do. And if you get to know a person very well and you're on a friend basis, on a first name basis, then it's fine to use the first name and the But is this, so I guess I'm, I'm assuming this is for like in German, like in the language, but even if you meet someone with English and like you're, you're using English to communicate, are you still, how do I put this? Do you still have the same Cult. is this cultural or is this language based if that makes sense hi everyone this is editing sienna <laughs> hopefully i can make a little bit more sense in what i'm trying to ask but basically my question is um if you were to have german people um but you were speaking in english would this still be oh the way that things would work. So the informal versus formal. So if in German you were on the formal uh, basis with them, like you were calling them their last name, like Schneider or something, right? If you switched over to English, would you suddenly start using their first name? Like, is this a feature of the culture? Like there's uh, cultures and ethnicities where um, culturally, like you'll still, um, address them as like their honorific title so like auntie uncle whatever no matter who it is um or is it a okay we're speaking english now so now <laughs> you're you're tanya like the, the the german that I had met before right um so like how does it work like is this informal versus formal is it um cultural or is it 
a feature of the language itself. Do, do, Diana. Do, Diana. <laughs> Number five, don't use public transportation without a ticket. A lot of the public transportation systems are controlled a lot and there'll be men and women who just appear once the ride has started to check on everyone to see if they have a ticket. Yeah, they're undercover. And the fines are usually kind of high or out of proportion with the ticket prices. Yeah. A number I always have in my mind is 60 euros, but nowadays it might be even more like 80 or 100. It's not worth it. Okay, number six, and this is a little bit more of a serious one. You should never show the Nazi salute or joke about Nazis in Germany. I of mean, course, because yeah, of the obviously. history in Germany, it's kind of a forbidden thing to do. And most of the Germans nowadays were kind of raised by this post-World War II anti-Nazi generation. If another person comes to the country and does anything Nazi related, it's so out of our minds that it's so weird that the world still thinks that. So that's quite offensive and you should never ever do that. And by the way, the same thing also applies to sing the old version of the national anthem. And I think around the world, a couple of people still think that might be it. And it's the one with the Deutschland, Deutschland über alles. That is the Nazi anthem. You're not allowed to sing that anymore. The real one is Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit, blah, blah, blah. That's the newer national anthem. And that's the only one that's supposed to be sung in Germany. Number seven, don't gossip in English in public. <laughs> Most Germans have a very decent grasp of English and they'll probably un- Oh, so don't like, don't gossip about the people around you. Like, I mean, I think that's common courtesy. I understand you. I know it's very common when people go to other countries, they tend to gossip in another language. I've heard it spoken in different languages all the time, and it's a little uncomfortable and embarrassing when other people understand you. So to avoid uncomfortable situations like that, gossip behind their back. <laughs> Number eight, you should never disrespect the German quiet hours. So every day or rather every night from 10 p.m. till 6 or 7 a.m. the next morning in Germany, by law, there are quiet hours. So you're not supposed to like play oh, yeah. out music, do here. construction or anything like that. Most of the country kind of abides by that rule, which means there's very little noise pollution during the night when you're trying to sleep or relax. And I think it's a kind of a nice thing. So if you do that, the Germans probably will call the police on you because they think they're in the right and they do that and the police knocks and like, turn it down. Never ever disrespect the quiet hours. All right, so before we continue with the video, we want to take a quick moment to remind you guys, please go and like the video. It helps us out. Like my video as well, please. Thank you. Yay. So number nine, don't solely rely on credit card payments. Mm -hmm. In Germany, there's still a lot of things that are pretty cash-based, and sometimes your credit card will even be rejected from a stall or bakery or a vendor. So it's important to note and make sure you have cash on you. So number 10, don't expect small talk. If you're from the <laughs> South and you're used to the good old Southern American small talk, that's not gonna happen. And it's not trying to be rude, it's just a cultural difference. So don't expect a chat with a random stranger about the weather or something. <laughs> Number 11 is do not expect free water anyway. That's sad. <laughs> so if you're used to the American way, you go to a restaurant and the waiter comes right away with a nice bucket of cold ass water and refills you for free all evening long. That is not a thing in Germany and you should not expect that. I think it's quite of a dumb thing, but water in German restaurants is quite expensive and most of the times even bubbly. Sprudelwasser. So in some carbonated water oh my god um yeah and sometimes okay again this isn't germany because i haven't been but sometimes the water and getting like a wine or a beer is almost like it's like fairly similar and it's just like bro just give me the tap water i'm thirsty i'm dehydrated i'm dying <laughs> Some places you could actually ask for tap water and potentially get it for free but a lot of places don't even do that and if they do it might be a little frowned upon but in general you should not expect free water everywhere number 12 do not enter a house with <laughs> your shoes on so all around germany it's yes take your shoes off they're disgusting pretty common to take off your shoes if you enter somebody else's house or at least you should ask if you should take your shoes off. And sometimes they say, no, you don't have to. But a lot of times people take their shoes off right at the entrance, leave them there and then just walk around in your socks. 
Leave your dirty shoes in the front. Yeah. I'm kind of curious how many of the households do that. I would say the majority of the households in Germany do that thing and do not walk around with their shoes on. Maybe let us know in the comments below yeah. if you had to take your shoes. I think I'm, I have, I do have questions about that because I feel like in the US, it's more of a like cultural divide more than anything. Um, like Asian Americans, most of them obviously are going to take off their shoes. Um, Hispanics, it, it, it gets split like 60, 40, um, like black people, Africans, it gets like split like 60, 40, <laughs> maybe 70, 30, <laughs> like every, everyone kind of, it, it gets split, but I'm, I'm quite interested where you're from. Is it common to take off your shoes? Like usually, um, in most American houses, um, even, no matter how small, there'll be like an area right when you come in, even if the rest of the place is carpet, right when you walk in, there'll be an area that is like tile or that's a wood or something like that. And that's where you like take off your shoes normally. It's that type of thing. But I'm really interested in other places. Let me know. Shoes off at your parents' house or how you do it at the moment. So number 13, don't give advance birthday wishes. Oh, really? Even if it's a day before someone's birthday and you will not see them on their birthday, do not wish them a happy birthday. It's not their birthday yet. I learned that after coming to Germany. You are not allowed to wish them a happy birthday until on their birthday or after their birthday. Yeah, and I was surprised to learn in the US that a lot of people do that actually. Some people will have a party a week in advance if that just <sighs> works with their schedule. So much bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Number 14 is kind of a very serious one. You should never ever expect to be dressed in a sauna on every beach. All right, this is kind of a funny one. We just wanted to throw that in there. In Germany, in a sauna, usually you are it's naked. For towels. You go in oh. with a towel and yeah. then you take it off or whatever, but you are actually not allowed to wear any clothing. If you wear clothing in there, people can get the whatever security or supervisors and they'll throw you out or make you undress. You must be naked. Yeah, there are also parts of beaches in Germany that are especially for nakedness, nude nudity. Nude beaches? <laughs> yeah, nude beaches. We call it FKK, Freikörperkultur. And on these beaches, you have to be naked. It's not allowed to wear any clothes. Like fully naked? Yeah, fully naked. Yeah, so I've yet to go to a nude beach or a nude sauna, but um, I'm open to it. Oh, oh. <laughs> should I be concerned? Why? <laughs> Just gonna be all a bunch of older people. So number 15, don't abandon your shopping cart. I feel like in the US, sometimes there'll be shopping carts spread throughout the parking lot oh, okay. and they'll just okay. be like a shopping cart ghost town. In Germany, that is not the case. You need a coin to access a cart and you also want your coin back. So you have to return the cart to get your coin back. And it's a good system, it's nice, and there's not abandoned shopping carts everywhere. And our last point, point number 16 is in Germany, you should should not jaywalk. We ain't in New York City. Yeah, but we're kind of in Berlin. So let's say you should not, but a lot of people still do it. Although I think the majority of the people kind of follow the rules and they do not jaywalk. You should always cross where the little traffic light is and then only when the green when the man mannequin, tells you. not the red one. And it's not that hardly persecuted, but you can actually get fined if you get caught in the act jaywalking. So the police sees you, gets you, and I don't know how much it is, five, 10, 20 euros, something like that. So you should not jaywalk in Germany. All right, so those were our 16 things. Okay, that was pretty interesting. Some, again, some of them I feel like are just like common sense or like common courtesy. Like you just wouldn't like walk into someone's house with your shoes on. Um, the jaywalking, I feel like it's illegal everywhere, but not everywhere follows it or like uh, enforces it and that type of thing. But I'm really interested. Um, are there any that you thought were surprising? I didn't really find any of them to be really surprising. Um, but let me know. I, I do still have that, that question about like the first name versus last name, formal versus informal, because when, again, I, I've only really interacted with a few German people and it was always obviously in English. And it was 
it was never even something that I got like an inkling of. So I, I'm wondering if I made like a faux pas or something or if it's just like not a thing when you're not speaking German. So let me know in the comments, please. I don't want to be ru like rude accidentally. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and end and here. Um, I hope that you enjoyed my reaction. If you have any suggestions on things that I should watch in the future, please put them down in the comments below. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay, so bye bye.